Hello dear students, in this video I will continue with chapter 6 permutations and combinations. Here I will discuss about fundamental principles of counting and also solve the questions of exercise 1.2 of CBSE book student support material, class 11 applied mathematics. Now first we will see the fundamental principles of counting. In fundamental principles of counting, we have two principles. One is fundamental principle of addition and the other one is fundamental principle of, of multiplication. First, we will see the rule of sum or the first fundamental principle of addition. If a job occurs, if either event E occurs or event F occurs exclusively. If event E occurs, E can occur in M ways and event F can occur in N ways, then the job can occur in m plus n ways. Now this is called the fundamental principle of addition or the rule of sum. This rule can be further extended. Here we have e can occur, here there are only events e and f. On the other hand, if we have another event g, if event e can occur in m ways, f can occur in n ways and g can occur in say Suppose P ways, then the job can occur in M plus, N plus, then P ways. So like this, this rule can be extended. Now let us understand this with an example. A school library has 30 and 7 books available on financial mathematics written by Indian and foreign authors respectively. A student wants to learn about the subject and has only one ticket to borrow the book. In how many ways the book can be borrowed? So here the library has got 13 books, Indian author books and 7 books, foreign author books. A student has got only, only one, one ticket to borrow the book. In how many ways the book can be borrowed? We just know so by the rule of sum or the fundamental principle of addition, a student can select the book in 13 plus 7 ways, 13 plus 7 which is equal to 20 ways. Now moving on, moving on to rule of product or fundamental principle of multiplication. If an event can occur in m different ways following which another event can occur in n different ways, then the total number of ways in which two events can occur in the given order is m into n. Again, similar to rule of uh, addition, this rule can also be extended. Now, let us understand this with an example. Anirudh goes to a stadium to watch a cricket match. If there are three independent gates to enter the stadium and two independent gates to exit, list the different ways Anirudh can enter and exit the stadium. If there is no restriction on the gate, one can use. So, Anirudh wants to enter the stadium, there are three entrances E1, E2 and E3 and there are two exits. Here we are asked to list the different ways Anirudh can enter and exit the stadium. So, he can either enter from E1 and, and exit through X1 or enter from E1 and exit through X2. Similarly, he can enter from E2, exit through X1, enter from E2 and exit through X2. I, or otherwise, he can enter from E3, exit through X1, enter from E3 and exit through X2. So, the total number of ways is 2 into, I am sorry, 3 into 2. There are 3 ent entrances and 2 exits. So, by the fundamental principle of multiplication, the total number of ways is 3 into 2, which is 6. Again, if we add all these, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ways. So, this way we can use fundamental principle of counting to get the values. Now, moving on to the exercise questions. These are the exercise questions from exercise 1.2 of chapter 6, permutations and combinations. First question, find the number of four letter, four letter words with or without meaning which can be formed using the letters of the word honest when the repetition of the letters is not allowed. So, here we can see that the word honest it has got 
six letters using these six letters we need to find the number of four letter words that can be found with or without meaning but the repetition of the letters is not allowed so here the number of letters in the word honest it is equal to six there are six letters in this word honest now let us consider the letters in the word b l1 l2 l3 and l4 the number of ways to form the first letter l1 it is six ways so this is six then the number of ways in which l2 can be formed here the repetition of words is i'm sorry the repetition of letters is not allowed so here we have to reduce one letter from the six letters so l2 can be formed in five different ways now after leaving these two letters the number of ways in which we can form the letter l3 is four ways and l4 will be three ways by fundamental principle of multiplication the required number of ways it is equal to 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 or this is equal to 360 ways so the number of ways in which these four letter words can be formed using the letters of the word honest without repetition of the letters it is equal to 360 next question how many three digit even numbers can be formed from the digits 1 2 3 4 5 if the digits can be repeated so here the digits can be repeated we need to find the three digit even numbers that can be formed using these five digits so let us take the the three digits will have the hundreds place the tens place and the ones place so this hundreds place it can be formed in five ways so here we have we have 1 2 3 4 5 so the, the hundred hundreds place can be formed using five ways and then coming to the the tens place here the digits can be repeated so the tens place can also be formed using five ways here in the ones place we can have only even numbers it means we can have only 2 1 4 so the ones place can be formed only using two ways so by fundamental principle of multiplication the required number of ways will be 5 into 5 into 5 so it is 50 ways 5 into 5 into 2 it is 15 ways next question how many four letter code can be formed using the first 10 letters of the english alphabet if first subdivision no letter is repeated second subdivision repetition of letters is allowed so let us take the first subdivision we need to form four letters using the first 10 letters of the english alphabet here no letters can be repeated so if we take this as the first letter second letter third letter and fourth letter the number of ways is given by the first letter can be formed in 10 ways since no letter should be repeated the second letter can be formed only using nine ways the third letter can be formed using eight ways and the fourth letter using seven ways by fundamental principle of multiplication the required number of ways will be 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 or this is equal to 5040 now the second subdivision when repetition of letters is allowed say the the four letter code consists of the letters l1 l2 l3 and l4 
so the number of ways will be the first letter can be found using these 10 letters so number of ways is 10 since repetition of letters is allowed the second letter can be found using 10 ways third letter also can be found using 10 ways and fourth letter using 10 ways so by fundamental principle of multiplication the required number of ways will be 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 or it is 10 raised to 4 so it is it is 10,000 ways next question a tennis club consists of 8 boys and 11 girls in how many ways can a mixed doubles team be chosen so here a mixed doubles team should be chosen using 8 boys and 11 girls so here if the team consists of 1 boy and 1 girl the boy can be chosen using 8 ways because there are 8 boys so number of ways to choose a boy is 8 and to choose a girl is 11 so by the principle of multiplication the required number of ways in which a mixed doubles team can be chosen is 18 to 11 it is 88 next question there are 5 vacant seats in a row in how many ways can 3 men sit so here if we have 3 persons person 1, person 2 and person 3 here person 1 can occupy 1 of the 5 vacant seats after number of ways now after person 1 has occupied one of the seats the number of seats left will be 4 so the second person will have 4 options and the third person will have 3 options so by fundamental principle of multiplication the required number of ways will be 5 into 4 into 3 that is equal to 60 ways. So these are the different ways in which 3 men can sit in 5 vacant seats in a row. Next question, find total number of ways of answering 6 multiple choice questions if each question has 4 choices. So here there are 6 multiple choice questions and each question is having 4 choices. We need to find the number of ways of answering these six questions. So if we have question 1, question 2, question 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here question 1 can be answered using 4 ways. Similarly question 2 can be answered using 4 ways. Question 3 in 4 ways. Question 4 in 4 ways and question 5 and question 6 each in 4 ways. So by fundamental principle of multiplication, the required number of ways will be 4 raised to 6. So this 4 raised to 6, when we simplify, we get 4096. So the required number of ways is 4096 ways. Next question, find the number of 3 digit even positive integers. So here we have 3 digits, one is the hundreds place, the tens place and the ones place. We need to find the number of three digit even positive integers. So the, the various ways in which the hundreds place can be filled include 1, 2, 3 up to etc. 9. So there are 9 ways to fill the hundreds place. The tens place can be filled using another extra digit. So there are 10 ways to fill the tens place. Since we are asked even positive integers, the number of ways to, to fill the ones place will be, it can be either 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8. So the ones place can be filled only using 5 ways. So by fundamental principle of multiplication, the required number of ways is 9 into 10 into 5. So this is 450. Next question, find the number of different signals that can be generated by arranging at least two flags in order, one below the other on a vertical staff. If five different flags are 
available. So here we need to know the number of different signals which can be generated by arranging at least two flags in order and there are five different flags available. So here we can have a signal that can have either two flags, can have either two or three or four or five flags. Now we have the number of two flag signal. The number of two flag signal will be the first flag can be arranged using five ways, then the, the next one using four ways. So number of four flag, I am sorry, two flag signal will be five into four. Then number of three flag signal will be Three flag signal will be 5 into 4 into 3. The first flag can be arranged using 5 ways. Then the, the next one using 4 ways and the next one using 3 ways. Then number of 4 flag signal will be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2. And number of 5 flag signal will be Five into four into three into two into one. So this is twenty. This is sixty. Then this is one hundred twenty, and this is one hundred twenty. So by fundamental principle of counting, the required number of ways will be the sum of all these. So twenty plus sixty plus one hundred twenty plus one hundred twenty. So, this is equal to 320. These are the required number of ways. Next question, a coin is tossed 4 times and the outcomes are recorded. How many different outcomes are possible? So, for a toss of a coin, we may either get a head or a tail. So, for the various tosses, for the first toss we have 2 outcomes, the second toss will have 2 outcomes. The third toss will have two outcomes and the fourth toss will have two outcomes. So the total number of ways, the total number of different outcomes possible are 2 raised to 4. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So it is 2 raised to 4 which is 16. So 16 outcomes are possible. Next question, there are 5 true false questions in a test. If no two students have answered the same sequence of answers and no, and no, stu, no student has given all correct answers, how many students are there in the class for this to happen? So here we have 5 true or, true or false question. Question 1, question 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now question 1 can be answered in two ways because it, it is a true false question. Question 2 can be answered in 2 ways, question 3 in 2 ways, question 4 in 2 ways and question 5 in 2 ways. So the total number of ways to answer the question is 2 raised to 5 which is equal to 32. And here it is given, no student has given all the correct answers. Among these 32 ways there is one way in which all the answers are correct. So it means there is no student who has given all correct answers. So how many students are there in the class for this to happen will be 32 minus 1. So the required number of ways will be required number of students equal to 32 minus 1. So it is equal to 31. Next question, if each user on a computer system has a password which is 8 characters long, where each character is an uppercase letter or a digit, each password must contain at least one digit. How many passwords are possible? So here it is given each user on a computer system has a password which is 8 characters long and each character is an uppercase letter or it is a digit. 
so number of letters are equal to 26 and number of digits is 10 so there are 8 8 characters and each can be arranged using 36 ways up to etc 36 So, the total number of ways if either letters or digits are allowed will be 36 raised to 8. But here and one more condition is given. Each password must contain at least one digit. So, the total number of ways in which the alphabets can be arranged is 26 raised to 8. So, by following this principle of counting the required number of ways will be 36 raised to 8 minus 26 raised to 8. So, here we can see that the number of passwords with letters and digit will be number of passwords with letters and digits this will be equal to 36 raised to 8 and the number of passwords with letters only will be 26 raised to 8. This is equal to 26 raised to 8. So, here it is given each password must contain at least one digit. So, it means the, the total number of possible passwords will be the difference between these two. So, this is equal to 36 raised to 8 minus 26 raised to 8. Next question. In a class test, a teacher decides to give 5 questions, one each from first 5 exercises of the textbook. If the first 5 exercises have 7, 12, 6, 10 and 3 questions respectively, find the number of ways in which the question paper can be set. So, here the teacher decides to give 5 questions Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 and Q5. From 1 each from first 5 exercises of the textbook. So, the first 5 exercises have these many questions. It means question, question 1 can be, question 1 will have 7 choices, question 2, 12, question 3, 6, question 4, 10 and question 5, 3. So, by fundamental principle of multiplication, the required number of ways will be 7 into 12 into 6 into 10 into 3. So, when we multiply, we get 15,120 ways. Next question, how many numbers are there between 100 and 1000 such that 7 is in the units place? So, we have, so the digits between 100, I am sorry, 100 and 1000 will have 3 digits. So, we have the 100's place, the 10's place and the 1's place. The 100's place can be filled using 9 ways. The 10's place can be filled using 10 ways. And in the 1's place, we need to have only 7. So, the 1's place can be filled using only 1 way. So, by fundamental principle of multiplication, the required number it is equal to 9 into 10 into 1. So, it is 90. So, there are 90 numbers between 100 and 1000 such that 7 is in the units place. Next question, how many numbers having 5 digits can be formed with the digits 0, 2, 3, 4 and 5? If repetition of digits is not allowed, how many of these are divisible by 5? So, first let us find how many numbers having 5 digits can be formed with these 5 digits when repetition of digits is not allowed. So, here we have the 1's one, the place, then 10, then 100, then we have 
thousand and then ten thousand. So here the digits are 0, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now this place, the 10,000's place, it will have only 4 ways which can be used. We cannot use 0. If we use 0, then the number of digits will not be 5. It will be only 4. So, so this place, the different ways are 4 ways. The number of ways are given here. And now coming to the 1,000 place. Here already, here one digit is used but 0 is left. So this, now this place it can be filled using 4 ways. Then the hundreds house it can be filled using 3 ways. Then the tens place can be filled using 2 ways. And the ones place can be filled using 1 way. Because repetition of digits is not allowed. Now by fundamental principle of multiplication the the, the, the required numbers having 5 digits. It is equal to 4 into 4 into 3 into 2. Or it is equal to 16 into 6, 96. So there are 96 5 digit numbers which can be formed with these digits. 0, 2, 3, 4 and 5 if repetition of digits is not allowed. Now it is asked how many of these are divisible by 5. Now we have to consider two cases. Case 1 when last digit is that is when the digit in the ones place is 5. So when the last digit is 5 this is 10,000 then we have thousands place then 100 then 10 and then 1. Here the 1's place can be filled using only 1 way. Here among these digits we do not have 5 and only we have 0, 2, 3 and 4. Again in this 10,000's place we cannot have 0. Again because the number of digits will become 4. We need the numbers having 5 digits. So this can be filled using 3 ways, then this can be filled using 3 ways, then we can have here 2 options and here 1. So here the required number of ways will be by fundamental principle of multiplication 3 into 3 into 2. So this is 18. Now coming to the second case when the last digit is 0. Because here it is asked how many of these are divisible by 5. If a number is divisible by 5 then the last digit is either 5 or it is 0. So here we have 10,000, then 1,000, then 100, then 10 and then 1. So here this can be filled using one way. So 0 is ruled out. Now the remaining number of digits are 4. So this can be filled using 4 ways. This can be filled using 3 ways. This using 2 ways and this using 1 way. So here the required number of ways will be 4 into 3 into 2. So it is equal to 24. Now among these the number of the numbers which are divisible by 5 are required number divisible by 5 it is equal to 18 plus 24 which is equal to 42. So the number of these 5 digit numbers which can be formed with these digits when repetition is not allowed and they are divisible by 5 are 42. Last question. There are 21 towns in 
district connected by railways find the number of tickets required by the railway so that a passenger can travel from one town to another so here we need to find the number of tickets required so that a passenger can travel from one town to another so here there are 21 towns here the first step is the number of towns can be selected in 21 ways so number of ways to select the town first is it is 21 ways now we need to find the number of tickets required by the railway so that a passenger can travel from one town to another if a passenger is in any one town then he can visit 20 other other towns so by the fundamental principle of multiplication the required number of tickets will be 21 into 20 this is equal to 420 i hope this video was useful for you thank you for watching